So during the training process, we actually also incorporate the validation process. This validation process supplies us with an unbiased evaluation for how well our model is able to generalize on data that it's not being trained on. So how exactly does this validation process work? The model will not only be classifying the training samples, but it will also be classifying the validation samples in the separate validation set. It will be doing this classification in the exact same way as it's doing for the training set, but the metrics for how well the model is doing on the classifications for the validation set will be kept separate and tracked separately from those metrics of the training set. And as we know, the data in the validation set is different from the data that's in the training set. So that's how we're able to get this unbiased evaluation for how well the model's generalizing because we can see how well the model is providing classifications on our validation data, which is data that is not contained in the training set. So it's data that the model is not seeing during this training process. But the additional hope is, is at the same time that the model is getting better at classifying the training data, it's also able to classify the validation data, the data that it is not being exposed to during training.